वी एग्जैक्टली नो कि पाकिस्तान में एक जगह के अलावा कई पे भी उनका अटैक सक्सेसफुल नहीं हुआ वी आर स्टक थर्टी फोर ऑफ द बेसिस अटैक्स है pretty good for some very good reasons we are not talking about this and we just left it there the former chief of pakistan air force has claimed that pakistan air force conducted strikes on 34 of the total 60 indian air force air bases across india and he asserted that indian air force managed to strike only one pakistani air base in an even more hilarious twist he also said that pakistan air force deliberately chose not to publicize these strikes and this brilliant piece of fantasy has drawn widespread laughter and mockery across india and even in foreign defense circles amid the two year delay in the delivery of f404 engines the us secretary of defense has said that the us is hopeful of finalizing several major defense deals like the 6p8 aircraft and signing a new 10 year defense framework for the us india major defense partnership that will include co-production of the javelin anti-tank missiles and striker armored vehicles both of which had failed user trials in india the 40 member team of british engineers have failed to repair the grounded british royal navy's f-35b fighter jet and a c-17 aircraft will be used to transport it back to the uk the rdo's 30 kilowatt laser directed energy weapon will start user trials by the indian army later this year The RDO has invited bids from local industry for the development of indigenous 105 mm fin stabilized armor piercing discarding sabot round for Jorawa light tanks. Indian Navy's new advanced Talwar class frigates are now equipped with 75 km range new generation 9M 317M missiles that has a speed of Mach 4.5 which is almost double of the Mach 2.3 Barak 8 missile. India and Australia have signed a 3-year joint research project focused on developing technologies for tracking Chinese nuclear-powered submarines, autonomous underwater vehicles and undersea combat systems in the Indo-Pacific region. Chennai-based Big Bang Boom Solutions has developed a Dixana advanced 360-degree situational awareness system for armored vehicles. Russia has offered 6 refurbished Kilo class submarines sourced from the Russian Navy to India that will be equipped with the Novator caliber long range cruise missiles that is capable of striking targets at 2000 km. Kalyani Strategic Systems Limited has expressed interest in developing a 155 mm 52 caliber tracked self propelled howitzer based on the Atags that would combine the Atags's firepower with the mobility and survivability of a tracked platform. Russia has offered a dual proposal to Indian Air Force that involves local manufacturing of the 60 SU57 with full source code at Hindustan Aeronautics Nashik facility and SU35M under the MRFA tender for 114 fighter jets. The proposal also includes advanced 142 kN product 177S engines for SU57, SU35 and the AMCA. co-development of stealth technology and avionics for the AMCA along with upgrades to the SU-30 fleet of the Indian Air Force. Rolls-Royce had offered to co-develop a 130 kN thrust engine with variable cycle engine technology in partnership with the RDO and Safran which earlier insisted on keeping 50% intellectual property rights. has now matched Rolls-Royce's offer of full transfer of technology and full intellectual property rights for India for a clean slate variable cycle engine technology allowing unrestricted use export and modification of the engine the final decision will be overseen by the PMO that aims for production readiness by 2032 today's top 3 comments <laughs>